post something for the people that got load shedding. So again, hello everybody. Right, Rocky is okay. Rocky was on and off. Abram Jay is on. Rocky is back. Rocky's hello, on. Rocky. Yeah, Rocky is on. Right, uh, we're gonna just uh, talk about a, a few motivational things. Andrew will be back with us doing Revelations of Life on the 12th of January. He's currently spending uh, some time with his family after hard years of work. He's a contractor, so he's always busy. He sometimes hardly ever makes it for the for the motivational call. We did at one stage consider that we must maybe do it on another time and just post the recordings. His wisdom is always very welcome. Nothing much happened this week. I'm going to mix this call a little bit with some other issues as well. Um, we started working on a new lineage uh, from our side on the Dream Projects. Uh, and there's a few of, of uh, the people from that side on. Um, for the people that is in New Beginnings, uh, we've got a motivational group on Telegram. I can't remember how many people in there, just under, under 200, where we currently got a photo competition where the person that posts the best photo gets a sponsored profile from me. It's uh, easy. You can post as many photos as you want. It must be things like flowers or your animals or children or gardens or whatever you find interesting. Uh, a panel of five will decide which is the best three, and then we'll post those three again and get the votes from the from the group. Obviously, my own photos and Christina's photos and Andrew's photos isn't allowed because they're part of the panel. Although Andrew posted a few photos and Christina as well. Uh, right, Arma is on. Why can't I see Lupe? How are you, Texas? You're in the middle of the day. Are you not supposed to work? <laughs> no, I don't work. I'm um I'm injured. Mm, I never worked a day in my life. Okay, there's suddenly more people on. We're gonna just quickly uh remind you about the things that Andrew covered so far. We spoke about motivation, personal motivation in one of the first calls that we had together. And then the next week, he spoke about motivated, uh, motivational work towards other people or groups of people. And then we started with the revelations of life. The first one was don't be stupid, which we then changed to be wise. And uh, after that, we tackled communication. Communication took four calls. We first did uh, the first part of communication, listening. And then the second part, talking. And then we had a call where Andrew got cut off because of power issues, where we spoke a bit more about communication. And then I think last week we closed up on communication. The next one on 12th January will be trust. I don't know what he prepared for that. He just said to me, he will, he's going to talk about the revelation of life called trust. So he will, he will carry on with that. Um, very interesting things happened this week. Uh, sometimes... Uh, our creator surprises. I heard about rain in in uh, the north, no, the southwestern parts of Gauteng, Johannesburg, Randburg area. A lot of flooding there, and I was wondering where's our rain. But now every day when I empty the rain meter, there's a few millimeters of rain every day, and it's unbelievable. I spent a few minutes outside today. Uh, in my garden to look at how the weeds are growing, but it's not only the weeds. If once you pull the weeds out, there's a lot of new flowers, beautiful flowers. I'll post a few photos tomorrow. People send your photos in that motivational group. If you want a link or be added to the group, contact me. Um, on the Telegram groups, we've got a very easy procedure. Uh, An admin must actually add you. They must make sure that you are legit and that you are part of what we want on the groups. So uh, you can contact myself and I'll forward your information and they will add you to the group. The motivational group, there's good things. There's people on here who frequently post there. Uh, Blockies is on here. He posts beautiful stuff every few days, sometimes two, three days in a row. Uh, Festina posts good things. 
Uh, who else is on here that post? Rocky, are you in that group? Uh, no, not yet, uh, uh, Captain. Not I'll yet. Get you in there. I want your stuff as well. Cheryl, Cheryl posts a lot of good things there every day. Zelda posts a lot of beautiful things. Uh, we made the motivational group for one reason. A lot of people cannot survive one day without posting motivational stuff. And not to clutter the, the other groups, we decided to work on a motivational group. So on the motivational group, you can post the unicorns and the flowers and the butterflies and little ponies and videos of horses playing with children and whatever you feel like posting. There. There's no limit on the amount of posts. You can post anything as long as it's not uh, causing conflict. So no bad mouthing of people. You put your post or you put your personal photos of the animals and the flowers and whatever you've got. If you've got a beautiful house with lights on for Christmas, like the Americans, you can even pose that. Kalupe, I saw a few of your posts there as well. It is, it is good. You know, don't post enough. Post us a few photos from Texas with all the lights. Um, I frequently, this time of the year, if I want to sleep somewhere early morning hours, I put on a a video the americans go overboard with their lights and all the trees and candy canes in the gardens it's beautiful take us a few pictures of how it looks in texas i'll definitely do that we got we got a a trip going over to the area where they uh they out go they go all the way out on the lights it's very mm -hmm. nice the whole basically a whole town yeah it's, it's scary there's a uh a movie that I saw recently of a, a whole street. It's called Candy Lane, yeah, Candy Cane Lane, where it, they've they've got rules for the for the people living in that street. How many lights they must have on, and how many candy canes, and how many animals. And this one policewoman moved in there, and just to irritate them, she put up a, a little dinosaur with a red Santa's hat. But eventually they made peace, and it was all good fun. It was all good fun. Yeah, Blocky, you show un unmute, but uh, yeah, if your mic is not working, that's so, so be it. Not everybody has, has to talk. Is there anybody else that wants to tell us something interesting that happened in the last week? Cheryl, do I look younger? Yes, you do. What have you done? Did you have a haircut or something? I've got a, of all my hair yesterday. Uh, a very, very close friend of mine is preparing for his first child's birthday in January. And uh, some of you may know I've got a very strong Jewish background and because he's Jewish, uh, to show uh, that I'm with him through this process, it's his first child, I've cut off my hair and sent him a picture. And then five other of our friends also cut the hair early this morning. So we seven, it's uh, praying for a healthy birth and a healthy baby coming on the 9th of January, which is the 16th of Tevet on the Jewish calendar. Very important date that. Uh, I'm not going to take my custom? cap off. I'll take, I'll take my cap off when the hair starts growing a little bit out. Is it a custom, Captain? Yeah, it's a, it's a custom. It's a very old custom. Uh, you don't find it in many of the modern writings. The original document where you prepare for birth is more than 4,000 years old, where the guidelines are what you need to do and when you need to pray, uh, when you need to fast for a few hours so that you can uh, cleanse yourself and be ready for the new child that comes. We all, uh, the six of us uh, working with Justin, will all be at the hospital during the birth as well. We, be arranging so that we can all be there to support him. Christina, are you still on? You're still on. Tell us what happened in your life today, uh, this week, or was it last week? When did the cats arrive in uh, on the farm? Um, they arrived last Thursday. Last Thursday. Um, Tell us a little bit more about those two beautiful cats. Well, I don't think I've ever really mentioned this, but my 
passion and I think purpose in life is to help abused and misplaced wildlife. I um, am certainly a, an animals person. I am um, one of those people, if a child and a kitten comes down a river, I'll jump for the kitten. Um, I'm sure some people won't like me for it. But um, anyway, so we've been involved with the um, rescue, relocation and rehabilitation of the um, well, for about 10 years now, the wildlife that we are mostly, um, that we mostly rehabilitate, relocate and, um, and send, take in um, as wild cats. And um, last Thursday, we received two lions from France. They were used in movies. And um, one, it, it is a, the, a, mo a movie, a story about one lion, but they used two lions in the actual movie. And I am very, I was very sad when I saw where they lived for most of their lives. They are now three and four years old. They practically lived in a, in a, in a little cage of about five by five meters. They obviously, obviously were um, otherwise, food-wise, water-wise, they were taken well care of, but um, I think there's lots of emotional stress. And um, when the female got out of the crate, you could actually see how she she um, disliked the, the feeling of soil under her paws. She's never felt it. And she got such big frights um, of the trees um have never seen it and was totally uh, a totally um the the sounds the birds um were were totally new to her the boy um the female has relaxed a little bit she's still not obviously still not her, her face got really really badly in, injured in transit from france to south africa um but it is a little bit better the boy um, is very traumatized um, and I think he suffers of lots of anxiety and um, he he is in a he still avoids us um, and I think he I mean it's only been a week of course and their entire little lives were uh, all upside down having been living and raised in this concrete steel cage living there for three and four years and now to be out in the bush no um I don't want to say no shelter because they do have shelter but it is not a closed room um so anyway that was my week um or last week and now just settling in and trying to get back to normal otherwise my daughter and her partner decided um this week that they are getting married on the 31st of December and today was crazy because we had to find a wedding dress and start to, start to make all kinds of arrangements we are only going to be five or six people at the wedding but um but there are just a million things to arrange because it is a wedding and you only you only um hopefully she'll only get married once and um, I still want it to be a special, special day. So today was kind of like hectic, the hectic day in my in my life. Um, but otherwise, it's good. Um, great, and then great I gave fun. you more work as well. Yes, you did. Would you like me to speak about that? No, no, you don't have to speak about that. That's fine. Now, as long as I get the, okay. the cats anyway. are fine. Now, Lupe, Lupe thought we you'd be talking about the little house cats. No, we we talk about cats as as uh, lions and tigers and and things uh cats his little kittens dusty sleeping on my computer bag beautiful yeah 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 if i if i talk about cats then i mean then i mean lions and tigers i do have a yeah. house cat um yeah but, i've got a little I refer to yeah i've got a not a, i don't have a house cat i've got a farm cat she's got the whole plot to run on but um yeah that that's a different size animal that's definitely a yes. different size animal. But we also would like to say something about the week. How positive was your week and how many new people did you meet? And what animals did you talk to? 
I will start. I will have to start nominating people here. Rocky, where are you? Are you still on? Yes, I'm here. I'm listening about the cats and the big cats and the little cats. We yeah. don't have any cats. You we thought I can't surprise you, and I surprised you with a phone call today. Yeah, you did. You did surprise me. Yes. Hmm. Was it warm up there? No, it's about it's about twenty six degrees here now. Yeah, it's quite warm down here as well. Yeah, we had a few few raindrops this afternoon, and there's more rain coming tonight. Uh, we usually get a few thunderstorms at 11, 11 to one at the night time, and in the morning everything is nice, full of water and growing at a huge huge rate. Well, my Lions Club is having a bra here at my house tomorrow, so it's likely to rain tomorrow afternoon. Yeah, of course it's going to rain. What, what do you think? <laughs> of course it's going to yeah. rain. <laughs> That's how it goes. Who else is volunteering to tell us about the week? You can't tell me that there's only two people who had a good week. There's 18 people on here. I can share a story if, if you're open to, to, to what I do. Um, I do animal good, good. communication. Talk and tell us what <laughs> happened with you. Yeah, I do tracking of lost and missing animals using forensic astrology. And this week, uh, together with animal communication, we've been trying to reunite a, a cat that had managed to go missing when the, his humans, well, her humans were traveling through um, through this this area here in the uh, in the in the Western Cape, and the humans are from from Gauteng area, and the cat went missing from the place that they were sleeping over, and um, the humans have obviously gone back home again. And the cat is very happy to be hanging around, walking around the town that she's in, and she doesn't want to go back home just yet. So she says she will let us know when she's ready to go back home. For the meantime. She's just hanging in the area that she is. Uh, she's got access to food. She's got access to water. And that's and she's quite happy for us not to find her because she's been giving us the, <laughs> the runaround where she's showing us she is. That we go there, we go look and we call. She says we can, she can hear us calling, but <laughs> lo and behold, she just does not want to show herself. So just again, teaching us a lesson in having respect and regard for our um, animal companions in, in that they also have free will and they exercise their choices. And we need to respect that and not push our own agenda because we want them back, um, just then to try and force an issue in finding them and taking them back. So it's been a, it's been a crazy week of lessons learned. You know, it's interesting how people, uh, how animals react when they relocate. Uh, when I moved, uh, what, just over three years ago to a plot where I had to live in a tent for a while to help that little community on that plot. Uh, uh, I closed Dusty in the tent the first day and she was fine. She could see outside. And then uh, on the second night there was thunder. And she was used to climbing in the cupboard where I stayed before. And uh, she decided she's not going to stay in the tent while there is thunder. I had uh, safety pins on the zippers at the bottom to keep the doors, the flaps closed. She chewed them open and she ran. And I was looking for her all over. And when the rain stopped eventually, she was sitting 10 meters from me underneath the caravan of my neighbor. And that was her hiding place for, for the few months that I stayed. But I stayed there for about, what, 15 months uh, until everybody got sorted out of solar power and water tanks and boreholes and stuff. Uh, and then when I moved here, where I stay now, the front door doesn't seal properly. There's a big gap. And uh, I went somewhere on the first day. I came back and Dusty was outside. And then uh, that was a escape when I'm when the doors were closed and then she climbed up on a scratch ball on the outside and getting at the window. So uh, they adapt quickly. They will let you know if they're not happy somewhere. They will let you know. Even uh, our domesticated animals are not always that tame. You need to give them freedom. If Dusty runs out here or goes out at 1 o'clock at night or 2 o'clock at night, she'll come back when she's finished with her patrols 
There's no no mice left here, no rats. She will go walk around and come back on her own good time. Luckily, it's not a too small plot. We've got about eight hectares here. So she's got a lot of space to walk into. Right, let's see what's going on in the chat. Uh, uh, Blocky, we will, Blockies, we will have a recording on. I'll send you, yeah, you, you know where to find the recordings. Anybody else want to say something? There's a lot of people on here. We can hear good stories. Emma, I've never seen you on here again. How are you doing? Okay, you need to unmute. Okay. Good, now you're unmuted. I am, am I unmuted? Yeah, can I, I, we can me? hear you. Yeah. We can hear you. I'm at, I'm at work, so I'm just pinching a bit of time to listen. I'm living in London, north of London. It's snow mm. white here. Oh, beautiful. Minus eight degrees this morning at my home. Cold. Um, Which place do you live yeah. in north of London? King's Landley, just north of Watford, just outside okay. the Ring Road on the northern side. Yes, here. yes, yes. Yeah, so, minus uh, eight is extremely cold, but you're lucky to have snow. We don't get snow too much. Uh, yeah. In South yeah, Africa, yeah. we get some snow in Lesotho, but that's that's in the middle of the winter. That's not in December time. Yeah. I, I can funny phrase starts a cola. <laughs> yeah, it yeah. can be extremely cold there. That is Smith yeah. and all those places. I did experience a few minuses there in my life. But it's good to see you on here. Uh, we're going to yeah. have a, uh, another call. My general Zoom call will be on Saturday at one o'clock, which will also be recorded. And then we've got two calls, one Afrikaans and one English call on Monday. I will repose the links as, as yeah. we go along. Okay. In I'm not always, will not always be able to do it. As I say, I'm just pinching a bit of time from, I'm supporting people with um, learning difficulties and mental health issues. So I'm just typing and listening with one ear. So, no, that's uh, fine. That's fine. Okay, it's, so it's sometimes you you'll see me, sometimes not. Good. Everything gets recorded. Everything is uh, is on the YouTube channel. You can go back to the old motivational calls of Andrew as well. The ones that don't know about Andrew yet. Andrew became good friends with me a while ago. And then we started working together uh, on Gift of Legacy and a few other things. Um, he's a very wise man. And he most of the motivational calls, I hit him with, with the subject after we start. So there's no preparation, but he's, he's good. He can, uh, can quickly explain to people how beautiful life is and how easy life yeah. is, actually. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. Mm, it's going to be good fun. All right, we've got a few minutes left. Anybody else that wants to, to say something? Silence is golden. There's one more person whose name I saw that I want to hear from. Jocelyn Witboy, how are you doing? Jocelyn is not yet unmuted. Or she's hiding. Ah, okay. there we go. Okay. Stefan, thank you very, very much. Uh, it was such a blessing this week to hear from you at uh, on another platform. And we are so looking forward to the Monday Zoom call. And uh, yeah, I said to Bernice, uh, when I saw your name and when I saw you coming to where we are on that other platform also, you are one of the people that honestly, you are an extremely good leader. You are somebody that is worth following. Your wisdom is beyond. And I am, I have the greatest, greatest respect for you. And I don't want to, to polish your stripes today, but I need to say it. You are one of a kind and you never, never get tired 
of helping other people. And what I listened tonight to the animal love, the love for animals that you have. My great, uh, my grandmother usually believed in if a person has love or if anybody has love for his elderly and children and animals, that person deserves a wonderful spot up there when he leave the earth. Thank you, <laughs> Captain. <laughs> Remember always uh, for the people that sometimes think I'm doing this on my own. It's not my own strength and stamina that keeps me going sometimes more than 20 hours a day. I am daily guided. The first thing I do when the sun comes up in the morning is to make coffee and go sit on my rock and talk to my creator for, for a half hour, sometimes a bit more. Uh, I don't care about messages at that stage, but I'm anyway so far behind with messages. It's scary. I cleared a 200 this afternoon, but I'm over 880 again on Telegram. It's shocking. But always remember, it's not my strength. It's the power that I get from my creator. Um, and the instruction was clear when I... Uh, joined kindred hearts i said this thing is not going to work god said to me you will do this because there's going to be a change coming and he even gave me the name i wrote the name down on the 28th of february last year and we're now sitting in the 12th month of gift of legacy already and with all the changes and funny things that happened we still here there's a lot of people that came on board in the meantime assisting I'm teaching a lot of people to do more things and how to work spreadsheets properly and how to operate boards. And when I eventually finish with Gift of Legacy in the next how many ever years, God decide I must carry on. I will hand over to people that can carry on. And then I might go on a bit of a holiday. All fun and games. Right, we got about eight minutes left. No, we got about nine minutes left. Thank you for that. Uh, Jocelyn, uh, I see, uh, was it Zelda who said about rain in Namibia? How much rain did you get, Zelda? Hi, Captain. I don't have a meter. I did not check also, but it was a lot. Mm. Two of our malls was flooded. A lot of people, the houses that is in the riverbeds. I saw even cars that was washed away. Yeah, yeah, that must it be was heavy. Really a heavy, heavy, heavy storm. Yeah, for the it people that don't know, I stayed like in Namibia. I stayed in Namibia and Vintuk for, for about five years. And it doesn't rain often there. But if it rains, it's rough. Yeah, Ilona says 180 millimeters. Yeah, that is a huge amount of rain. And for one or other reason, Vintuk is badly built. There's roughly 15% that is below the waterline of the few, few rivers running through, through that town. But those little rivers, that's basically just a trickle of water when it rains normal becomes a wide river overflowing the banks when you get 80 to 100 millimeters of rain. But send us photos, post photos on the motivational group so we can see how it looked there. Okay. Good, we've got about eight minutes left. We also want to tell us about the weather and the animals. I like animal stories. Dusty is a very clever cat. Whenever somebody come to visit me, which is not often, um, I first see what she's doing. If she come to somebody and say hello and walk out, I know this, that person is good. If she sits and stares at a person, I tell them you can leave. If you want to meet with me, you can buy me coffee at a coffee shop. And then a few people were lucky enough where, they actually, where she actually climbs on top of them and say, make space, I want to sleep on your lap. And then I know that is a that is a 100% nice people. Sometimes when somebody comes for the second or the third time, I know when Alette came here the first time and she and Yuri came to visit, Dusty looked at her, she walked out, 
and she came closer when they left to greet and the third time when they came here she was all over a letter and from that day whenever a letter a letter arrives here dusty is on her lap who got any interesting things to tell us about your animals there must be some people on here who's got animals i'm dead sure about that then did you send that link out that i asked you for Yes, yes, Stefan, I sent that to Festina. Good. Yeah, that's one of the boards we need to fix. Maybe I'm lucky. Dusty, come here. Let me show the people how you look like. Come. For the people who, who never met Dusty yet, there she is with her beautiful magic eyes. Right. Now she go sit behind the computer. Yeah, yeah, Dusty. Dusty will uh, will love most of the people on here. She's a very very clever cat. I've got a photo that I showed to a few people before. Uh, I took a photo of her before I had lights in the area where I sleep. Uh, it was there was enough light coming from the outside so that the flash didn't work. And I'm dead sure the flash didn't go off because it was set not to flash. And uh, oh, it was beautiful when I saw those eyes on the photo. Yeah, she's a very clever cat. She's now busy preparing on my laptop bag. She's going to sleep there till, till I eventually go to bed. I see Linda just hopped on. Welcome, Linda. There's a few other people on here too. It's good to see you on a Zoom call. Six black cats. Ah, oh, black cats are beautiful. They're magical. All cats are mag magical. Thank you, Captain. Thank you. Yeah, you've been quiet in the groups. It's very good to see you on a Zoom call. I hope you attend more often now. <laughs> I'll try. I'll try. Yeah, because I know you're not watching the recordings on YouTube. I can see you watch, watch the recordings. Some people just open up and watch 30 seconds to count as a view, but I need the, the viewing time as well. Yeah, no, no, where are you All from? Right. Which uh, area of the world? I am in. Oh, sorry. Were you I asking me, you Oh, okay. Yeah, no, no, All where, right. where are you from? I, I don't know you. I am from Bloemfontein. Bloemfontein. Oh, there's a few other people yeah. also on here from Bloemfontein. Uh, that's a good little yeah. place, but it can get cold there in winter time. I don't want to be in winter. Place. It's a big city, a beautiful city. <laughs> yeah. My sister stayed there for a while. I was I stayed long times in the Northern Cape. My my sister, two oh, years okay. younger than me, stayed in Bloemfontein for about three years in the, in the late 80s, I think. Yes. Okay. Well, right. Thank you, uh, people, if, if there's nobody else to want to, to add on, we're going to say bye for the people that don't know. The sequence of saying goodbye is unmute yourself and shout bye till there's only two or three left and then I end the call. There we go. Unmute and shout bye. Goodbye, bye. everybody. Bye. 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 Have a good day. Bye. Good night. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Okay. Bye, Lona. Bye, Lona. Russell. Hello. Bye, Leanne. Bye. Bye. You're one of the last ones. Bye. Uh, good afternoon in America. Bye. -bye.